What's up everyone? I just finished editing a wedding video and I thought it'd be really awesome to show you two simple text reveal animations. Now these would be great for a call out or if you are just trying to get better at animating text, this is the tutorial for you. And it takes less than a couple minutes. So let's get started with the first animation right here. This is a pretty basic one. We have a line that pops in, slides, and then disappears, and it reveals our text. So how do we do this? Well, let's get started with a simple text layer. So I click T on my keyboard, and then let's type in, for example, Kyler Holland, you know, since that's my name. I'm gonna center that text over here on the right hand side. Now if you don't see the essential graphics, you can just double click on your text and it should pop up the essential graphics panel over here. And this is where we can manipulate our text. So double click on your text, pick a font that you like and center it and then click these buttons align vertically and align horizontally. And that will make sure our text is in the center. Just size it however you want. And now we know that this is our text layer. So why do we make that first? Well now let's go over here and click the rectangle tool. Now this might be in a different location on your editing window, but just know that all you have to do is click the rectangle tool and let's draw a simple vertical line. I think that looks good right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be manipulating this. Now I like to make sure everything is the same duration. So let's just click it over there. So for starters, let's go from the right to left. So how do we do that? Well, go to the effects controls tab and click on your graphic, which is that vertical rectangle line and change the position all the way to the right. The reason why I like making my text layer first is because I know how big I need to make this rectangle. Now that we move that to the right, let's go to the beginning of our animation and click a keyframe under position. And let's just go a couple frames. And then all we have to do is drag this to the left until we get past our text. Now, right click on your first keyframe, go to temporal interpolation, go to ease out, right click on your second one, go to ease in. Click the down arrow and drag that first line all the way to the right. What this will do is it'll start it slow, fast, and then it'll slow down again at the very end. So now that we did that, we actually want to animate the scale so it doesn't start as a line. Because just imagine if our text layer is missing, we need to animate that. Now uncheck uniform scale and if you change scale height to zero, you'll see that our vertical line gets smaller. So what you want to do is actually click the toggle animation and change that to zero. Let's go a couple frames and let's change this scale height back up to 100. But you'll notice that our animations aren't matching because it starts zero and then it gets bigger. So all you have to do is move your top keyframes around so that we have it so that it animates up and then it starts to slide over. You can mess around with these animations and keyframes. Again, right click on the first one, ease out, right click on the next one, ease in, click the down arrow and just drag this to the right a little bit so that it starts a little slow and then goes fast. If you don't like that, you can just manipulate that curve right there. So I'm going to speed that up just a tiny bit so it animates a little bit faster and I'm going to move these back a little bit. All right, so now that we have that, let's unhide our text layer. And what we need to do is actually animate a mask on our text layer. So what we need to do is click on our text layer and click this create four polygon mask button. And you'll see that if we click and drag this around, it actually reveals our text. So what I like doing is just drag it to the beginning Click the top right corner and shift click the bottom right corner so that will select both of those and all you have to do is drag this over here. If your mask isn't vertical, you can manipulate those edges to make sure it is nice and perfect. Now, once you have that, all you have to do is animate this mask so that it matches this line. But Kyler, now we see the text. So click the inverted mask and that will disappear that layer. So all we have to do is click the mask pass toggle and sadly, Premiere does not have the ability to add ease out and eat it, ease in. So I recommend going a couple frames and then clicking on your mask layer and make your mask follow that line. So I typically go two to three frames and then make your mask follow that line. All you have to do is click and drag your mask to follow that line, just like so. And then once you get to the beginning, you 
are done. Now you can play that back and you'll see that we have this animation. It animates in and it goes and reveals the text layer. You can scrub through here nice and slow to see if it's skipping, like right here it was a little off. So all you can do is click and drag your mask to adjust it. Now one thing we can do is we can also add a mask feather and you can simply highlight all these keyframes and bring them to the right or left to reveal or hide a little bit less or more of your text if you want to. All right, so let's move on to the next one, which is also pretty easy. Using that same concept, let's click T on our keyboard, type in a text layer, and let's center our font, center that, and let's just drag this down to the bottom. Now what I wanna do is click and drag that to the whole timeline. Now all we do is create the shape layer. Click on the rectangle tool and just click and drag anywhere I'm gonna click right there, I think that looks good. And now something very important, you wanna click down on this shape layer and click V to bring up the selection tool and just click and drag that anchor point and just double check and make sure it is in the center of your shape layer. And the reason being is when we center this, we want it to actually be centered with our entire image. Sometimes it's not and it will affect our horizontal scaling. So now go to the beginning, uncheck uniform scale and change the horizontal scale to zero. Add a keyframe, go a couple frames and then change the horizontal scale to 100. Right click on the first one, ease out. Right click on the next one, ease in. Click the down arrow, drag that first keyframe speed graph to the right so that it animates in nice and smooth like so. All right, so we have our shape layer. Drag that to the beginning right here and let's drag that all the way out to the end. Now I wanna bring in this text layer, same concept. Click on your text layer and go down here to opacity, click on the mask button right here, which is create four polygon mask, and let's drag this over our entire text layer. I'm also gonna keep it on this bottom line right here. So click on that bottom one, shift click on that top one, so we can just click and drag this whole thing to the right, and I'm gonna make that the entire length of my text layer like so. All right, so what do we want to do? Well, we want our mask to actually be revealed and it is right now. So how do we manipulate the text now? Well, if you go to the effects tab and type in transform and drag on the transform effect into your text layer, if you manipulate the Y value of your text, you'll see that it goes away because of our mask layer. Our mask layer is actually going to only reveal text when it's in here. So if you manipulate the position, it will disappear and reappear. So let's drag our Y value down so our text is gone. Add a keyframe, and you can start this keyframe anywhere, but I would just add it and go a couple frames and then bring your text layer up. Right click on the first one, temporal interpolation, ease out. Right click on the next one, temporal interpolation, can't even say that word, ease in. Click the down arrow, change that first line speed graph, and you'll see that we have this line coming in, but our text is a little late. So let's say I want my text to join in a little bit earlier, like when the line's being built. All you have to do is highlight both of those keyframes you just created, and then it'll come in a little bit quicker. And keep playing around with how fast you bring in that text layer because it might look better. Even if you just drag it all the way to the beginning, our text comes in, but right there you'll see it comes in a little bit early. So all we have to do is drag this to the right, one keyframe, and then it should be good. All right, well that's all I have time for for today. Keep in mind, all you have to do is keep playing around with your keyframes and to get this thing to disappear, all you have to do is copy those keyframes but in reverse order and when you do that, your text will disappear. If you guys enjoyed today's video, click that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and as always, I'll see you next time.